Hey Chuck, what's up? Oh, what's up is I have uh, just relieved the beam a little bit to let the wiring, the, the end of the antenna wire pass through that hole there wasn't quite big enough. So I had to take a rasp and, and that meant rasping through the uh, primer and sealer and since it's right underneath the mast step, I want to make sure that... Our brand new beam that we just made? Just doing some final shaping <laughs> on it. And I wanted to make sure that uh, all there was no unprotected bare wood under the mast because that's where a little bit of water will get in. There's just no avoiding it along with the wires. So, we got this. Set that over there. And this stuff will last in these temperatures another couple of days. As long as Enough it's not to do the other out. two yeah. coats that we want to get done. Uh, that'll be ready for recoat tomorrow. And then this stuff here will use the same batch. Because this stuff has a long pot life in low temperatures. If it's like it is down in the 40s now, this stuff will last for several days before it kicks off in the pot. Yeah, um, there's been a definite change in the air. Oh yeah. <laughs> It's, it has uh, definitely gotten cooler. It is fall. There's uh, leaves on the ground. And I we started to leave this morning and got outside and went back in and put on a couple more layers. It, it's a definite change. So, I'm just uh, looking in behind you there. It's just not going. Oh, that's why. <laughs> Trying to figure out why the lid wouldn't snap on. There's two containers there. Okay, now we got that handled. We'll put this down here where it'll be out of the way. That ceiling looks mighty nice there. Huh? Yeah, it does. If I do say so myself. Uh huh. Turned out it looks a lot better than the. Uh... You think it looks better than it did before? Yep, I absolutely yeah, I think do. So too. Better than the narrower slats. Yeah. Yeah, that looks great. And it's so, the bronze screws instead of the stainless steel that we had before. I don't know if that makes that much difference, but the bronze is a nice touch, I'm going to say. <laughs> and then we have the trim pieces that will be made be up here to cover this bare spot. And then yeah. Oh, and oh, um, do you want to, I'm going to turn the camera off for a second and I'm going to hand you something. Hold on, I'll be right back. Okay. So there's uh, one other little bit of, uh, well, one ever, other little finishing piece we picked up this morning. You got it in? Uh, well, I put it in place. Well, let's just see how to, it looks. Well, just it's to deal with, yeah, sure. The yeah. one inch or the half inch? Five eighths. It's five eighths. Oh, it's five eighths. Five eighths, yeah. Just to make this look a little bit neater along the edge. So I just pressed a uh, piece of five eighths inch three strand in there. I may do some uh, little dressing up of that. Certainly it'll be painted, if nothing else, but I'll dress that up a little bit maybe. But that helps uh, give that a little bit more finished look. Could have done it with wood, but um, I thought, well, let's try this and see if that looks okay. And I think it does. I think it looks good. So it's an improvement, I think. Let's see the other side here. It's it's even. It's pretty even all the way up because I I trim I marked it and trimmed it to get it nice and even. But there is a gap. Oh yeah, that's gonna look nice. Yeah. Very cool. I think so. Yeah, and then we're painting that, right? Yeah, uh, just, yeah, we'll paint it, paint it white. And we're going to do that up forward as well? Uh, maybe, I don't know, it might be too much. Uh, yeah, yeah, let's see. Yeah, probably should. It'll just finish that up just, just enough. Let's set that up there. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Very cool. <laughs> So what are we up to today? Well, we need to put these uh, plywood furring strips, they tell me that's what they call them, furring strips, uh, and they need to be epoxy to the hull or attached to the hull so that we'll have something to uh, sink the screws into when we attach the, uh, the ceiling. This is to attach the ceiling to, that's what that's for. Break this a little bit in order to 
I'm cracking it right in half. <laughs> Without snapping it right in half, yeah. This is that. <laughs> we need to make up an epoxy haiku. <laughs> <laughs> So, epoxy in the cup, mixing. I see epoxy. So we're in the process. Epoxy. Of oh, yes. Epoxy in my cup has bubbles. Keep stirring. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Actually, it's the bubbles are not a problem. You just, um, especially not for this application. It starts off cloudy, and then you start stirring it until it gets clear. At least this particular type of epoxy, this particular brand. It's thoroughly mixed. It gets nice and clear, but it still has bubbles in it. So we're uh, epoxying the strips on. Side of the hole yes. this afternoon, and that's what the uh, ceiling is, strips will be attached to. This has some, you know, comedic potential. Okay. <laughs> oh yeah, absolutely. <laughs> There's no doubt about that. <laughs> We've done this before, and it, you know, it's always <laughs> it's always loads of fun um, trying to glue these things. I mean, I did the ones up there oh, the first time. Well, Please. they turned out just fine. Turned out a lot. Yeah, you can't see it. All mistakes. But uh, yeah, this is gonna. This is gonna look so good. It's gonna look so good. Yes. Ooh ah. Uh. Just more mixing up of, of epoxy and spreading of, of varnish. Lots more of it. Lots more. Once we put the the ceiling in here, uh, then we can do the shelf and the seat. And that front piece can come in. Those are all done. So, well, the shelf's not done, but that's the easy thing. Yeah, that won't take that, very uh, long at all. Plywood on the bandsaw, and then paint it. And then white. it gets three coats of sealer, <laughs> and three coats of paint. Okay, I think we're good. All right. I don't we want go. that stick me in that long. That was kind of awkward. Yeah. Well. It was only a little bit of a rodeo. <laughs> I tell you, it would have made a good comedy Not skit. too bad. All right. Look at that. So. I have to put a spacer in there oh. to hold that up. Or okay. something to hold that up. All right. We have... Uh... Okay, so what we've done here is... Um, first, I glued uh, anchor blocks using um, construction adhesive to the hull and then we brought, we, after we prepared these uh, furring strips we painted the back with uh, uh, unthickened epoxy and then we thickened it up real thick but not, not thick, thick enough apparently but not thick enough <laughs> but not quite thick enough no not quite uh. thick enough and uh, Put these things in here and then screwed the battens to the anchor blocks. And uh, so, in theory, that should uh, do the job. And then tomorrow I'll come back and take the battens off and paint these white and start fitting the uh, ceiling, ceiling strips, strips in there. Woohoo! And then a whole new round of whole sanding. New round of <laughs> sanding, sealing, and varnishing, yeah. <laughs> Uh, I think this, I didn't, uh, I don't know exactly, but this is going to take about 20 strips on this side, maybe 24. And then, uh, and I got probably four or five on the other side, just above yeah. the set team. That won't take too long. That won't take too long. And I'm toying with the idea of not even using the epoxy on that side. I'll just use the uh, construction adhesive. I think that'll do it. I think that will do the job. <laughs> Well, it'll be easy enough to get to if it doesn't. If and it if fails. it doesn't, it'll be yeah. easy to fix, right? Yeah, absolutely. So, cool. Okay, All right. So. Well, we're done for the day, and we're gonna head back. Quitting time. <laughs> Coffee time. Quitting time. All right. Cool. It's uh, coming along. Yeah. <sighs> Only two more weeks. We'll have this done. <laughs>